Hey there, Sean Cable here with a quick update on what's happening with the weather. We are still anticipating thunderstorms that are going to move through the area overnight tonight, likely across far western Minnesota after midnight, the Mankato area sometime between 3 to 4, maybe a little after 4 a.m., and then pushing eastward through about uh, 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. Severe threat is still uh, there. We are talking the potential for Damaging wind gusts 60 to 70 plus miles per hour, some large hail. Uh, tornadoes not terribly likely with this sort of scenario, but it's possible that we could see something spin up on the leading edge of this line of thunderstorms as it moves through. So we had a brutally hot and sticky day. Fortunately, hallelujah, tomorrow's going to be still kind of muggy, but it's going to be a lot cooler, and uh, the dew points are going to be in the low 70s as opposed to the low 80s. So Tomorrow will be better, and then it's going to actually get much better later in the week into the upcoming weekend. But uh, this cold front is going to continue to push eastward. Behind the front, there's a lot of upper-level energy and still plenty of moisture being brought in by a uh, jet of um, fast-moving air kind of at about a couple thousand feet. And uh, you'll notice the dew points, even though the front is moving through, still in the 70s. So there's plenty of moisture yet for thunderstorms that are going to be developing as we make our way into the night. So I want to take you through it all hour by hour. As we roll through the late night hours, we're going to see a bit of a break through probably midnight, one or two o'clock. Now, currently there's a big line of thunderstorms in central South Dakota, another one in central Nebraska, and those two are going to move in and kind of converge moving into western Minnesota, one, two o'clock in the morning. Here we are at 2 a.m. Here we are at 4 a.m. Now, there's still a little uncertainty in regard to timing. This could speed up or slow down a little bit. So around 4 o'clock, it's possible that these could move in a little faster and be here a bit earlier. But uh, our latest model shows these moving through Mankato. Uh, actually, as late as 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. And then continuing east as we make our way into tomorrow. Things will then get better. We'll eventually clear out. Uh, may see a few lingering showers tomorrow morning into the midday, but they're going to be fairly weak and not, not particularly major, nothing uh, significant. But uh, there will be more storms overnight. Be sure to have a way to get alerts. The first alert weather app, your uh, weather radio is another great way. But again, the main threat overnight, damaging wind gusts, some large hail potential as well. With the chance of an isolated tornado or two, that's something we will be watching. And of course, we'll be here watching things through the night tonight. We'll let you know if anything develops on uh, social media, on our First Alert app. And if we have to go on the air, we definitely will. I do want to show you one more thing. Now that this cold front is moving through, we're going to get a nicer day on Wednesday. Thursday will be showery with isolated thunderstorms. And then into the weekend, things are looking absolutely fantastic with uh, sunshine Cool temperatures, the humidity won't be a major issue. We're talking highs in the mid-70s by Sunday, Labor Day, and that trend will continue well into next week. Again, be weather aware through the night tonight. Just be prepared. Thunderstorms expected to move through starting far western Minnesota after around 2 a.m. Mankato probably closer to 4 a.m., maybe even a little later than that. And again, we'll be here to uh, keep an eye on things and uh, let you know what's going on as these storms roll through overnight tonight. That's what's going on. Be safe, stay tuned, and have a great evening.